Marshall to 10. With a turnover, it's Butler the other way from behind. He had a couple of shots, swiping at the ball. But he... White will curl into the paint. What I like here in this first quarter, he already has five free throw attempts. Caleb Martin with a three. He's out of here in this first quarter. Back in the game for the Heat. One of the biggest legendary, Jimmy Butler, the greatest player from the NBA on his total career history, plays for every other team in the playoffs and for his better careering of his new heights in the All-Star game. But now, his next victim is the Celtics, Jason Tatum. It's all what happens with the Eastern Conference showdown. He never wants to give up. The better fight, the better win. It's all what happens for Jimmy Butler. His new setup goal is to defend it, but how is he all entering his better defensive set? That's the question. They're looking all everywhere trying to find the right moment. The better type, the better moment of Jimmy Butler over the Celtics. Now, Jason Tatum is ready to match things up. Has a lot of things to say for of how he can handle it. I haven't played basketball. In, in, in so long and I'm so passionate and I love the game and I don't do it for any other reason except for to compete and go up against the best to try to prove that I can hang so all my emotion came out at one time was it the right way to do it no but I can't control that when I'm out there competing like that's my love of the game that's raw me me at my finest me at my purest that's what you're gonna get I'm not gonna take it offense it's not personal Jimmy you shouldn't have done that yeah, you, you're probably right. I would have said, I ain't hooped in I don't know how long. I mean, I'm passionate about it. I love the game and I love the win. And that's all I was out there doing was competing, playing hard. Now he has a choice. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, dynamic duos of the Boston Celtics. From Al Horford, from other players of each teams, is a hard must. The contest is everywhere in between. You can definitely know that, that this is the toughest team ever. The better rebounding, it's a better dynamic news. Each competition, showdown is a must. They don't want to go home, right? Those NBA players, they're extremely good. This is a playoff. Uh, so that, that game is the toughest. Uh, it's the most fun, too. Hey, we, we missed bunnies all night. Uh, you know, I knew we were due for one, so that was a big time shot. You know, I feel comfortable doing it, but I think, uh, you know, for myself and for the team, everybody, you know, being open minded and, and willing to, uh, you know, check off all the boxes, I think that's special. Um, and, you know, nobody, you know, from top to bottom, everybody's willing to do that. So, um, you know, I think that's special to, that we have a group like that. I mean, you know, through my, throughout my career, I've been a part of some uh, big games, regular season, um, postseason. I've been a part of some tough losses. Um, so I think, you know, thus far, I understand right how to stay level-headed um, through the good times and the bad, you know, regular season and postseason. Um, but the snow didn't help me. I'm not a fan of the snow. But it's a hard matchup right in between the alley. You know, Derek White, but definitely on the occasion of Caleb Martin, it's a hard one to take over from a shot. But the better angle is, it's a hard drive. It can never be slowing down right to those two. Sometimes, Al Horford, the better message for the legendary player, has a big world to make a news out of from Jason Tatum. Somebody like Al, Al is willing to do everything, and somebody at this at that stage of his career, um, I think that really sets the tone. And you know, the rest, rest of the guys kind of follow that. The bigger message is that it has to be with the Celtics and the Heat. It's a battle take on in between the Eastern Conference showdown. Since 2020 was the last one in the pandemic, then it happened again in 2022 that the Celtics beat over the Heat in the number one spot. 
but it was no joke. The easier way it happens with in between the back-to-back -back scores happened to be a lot harder than they think. They have no way that they can try to protect him from in between. And for the last postseason with the upset against the Celtics. But there might be another way to keep that going. Of course, we miss Marcus Smart and the other side with Robert Williams. But the great thing is, the new substitution for recruiters are coming in to help them out. With Drew Holiday in point guard and Kristaps Porzingis from the Washington Wizards. They are happy enough to help them out and definitely play on court with each other. So whenever you're thinking about how to beat around the point, when I ask you, is this water? And you say, well, it's not through punch. Like, well, obviously, but you know that the answer is water. And that's what always going on. Back-to-back -back scores, not a possible chance. He said, we can't let our shot making affect our physicality and our defensive effort. Against the zone, we have to make quicker passes and be better specifically against the switches, guys. My teammates, they need me to be that way right now. I will continue to be that way right now. Um, whatever it takes to win, it could be 40, it could be 50, it could be zero and 12 assists. I got to be able to do it all. I'm going to play with my daughter, man. I love her to death. I miss her. I've been away for a very long time. We're going to get ice cream. We're going to the park. We're doing a lot of different stuff. This is where it's going to happen. There will be a bigger difference in between the range of Jason Tatum and Jimmy Butler. No contest, no takes, and this is a hard matches. Whoever gets to the finals, it's going to be on the 101 in between the zones of the top players of a legendary. And this is no joke, because if they do, they're going to get this one done straight and go with the victory plan. That's the hard key. For the White Heat playoffs, they have been good doing a lot of blocks in between the other teams, but not for long as Derek White able to answer it in Game 6 last postseason. It was no joke that this was a close call range in the backcourt and count the bucket in. But hey, it's going to be a great matchup between Boston and Miami, White Heat playoff and Bleed Green playoffs. This is going to be a one biggest show that you will ever see between the two. Heat Celtics next on 2K Sports. It's Woodspoon, that's right, I am here for our, for the next game as we're ready to have this next matchup. It's the Boston Celtics and Miami Heat for the rematch of game two. Guys, we're ready to make this a way approach. I have the next commentary is underway. Going to, to a good start for Boston Celtics, they have a 1-0 lead over Miami. And then, 
Let's see what the next one goes in. If a tie or extension lead. As for the next one, we have the next commentary is up, and you're taking it, Tyler. Who you, you're calling for is well, I'm calling for one of our only. The biggest of that, DJ B School. Uh, I guess that's the name of it. And then we also have is Clover. That's on the other side. And finally, we have the third commentary of the crew. I have you all named for. It's what the name has definitely has been spotting things on, and we are all ready to get this thing set up in. That means it's Boomer. And Ali LaForce will be on the sideline for tonight's game. In the meantime, time to get rumbled. Enjoy game two of the Eastern Conference Finals. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. It's a great one to start things off, and we're ready to see what goes in next after this. What's going on? It's DJ Beast here, and we're ready to have to start things up for the second game of the Eastern Conference Finals. I'm here with Clover and Boomer, and Ali LaForce on the sideline. And this matchup is going to keep on coming in. Game two, as a lot of people are supporting the Boston Celtics, he go to great matchups in between the zones to uh, Jalen Brown and Jimmy Butler. Jason Tatum is with on the other side of it, and he is also in covered up for on the side of Hayward Heisman. Then across from the point guard position, Terry Rozier against Drew Holiday. Chris Aforsigas against Ben on the bio, and a, and a small forward and a shooting guard position. It's all for anybody. Derek White and Tyler Hewitt. Let the games begin and let's get it going. So the Celtics start things here and we are underway at TD Garden. He passes over to White. White on his side. There releases and there is a foul called on Jason Tatum. That will be the first personal foul as it turns it over to Miami Ball. You know, sometimes it doesn't really change things out. That is a big mistake. They don't play it like that. They don't want anyone to get right to it. Yeah, I had a little bit bad feeling with that. I mean, nobody wants that anyway. He's searching it for it. He now finds the pass over to Highsmith. Tries to get over it, but the two up and in makes the drive. But a great shot for Haywood Highsmith as they start it 2 0. I never see what Haywood Highsmith was going for, but he was trying to avoid the contact. That must have been another way to get this through. I have no idea what's going on, but that is just crazy. Another chance over here on the other side, we have a Jimmy Butler. He has to pass over now to Hero. Hero trying to step out of here and now finding Rozier again to Iceman. Iceman gives it over to him on the line. The shoot over from Kristaps Porzingis and misses the shot. He passes in and mark in the first, first quarter. As now it's Derek White. Over with the shot. Open look. No good. Butler with the rebound now had it over again to Hero. He passes down to Heisman. Heisman gets again. Rozier for three. Takes it range on the outside. That one takes it for a first three quarter for the key. Now playing it for doesn't really mean that he has an all of it. Crushing down the range of the two that two of the You gotta make that one in there. But that needs to be an hour changeover to get right into this. If there's a never take over, they can't leave that mark open alone. Well, Jason Tatum, the step back thing, and after Derek White, well, um, I guess that you're all in here passing me. I think that's what you wanted to do. He's shooting Butler pretty outside. He now gives it over again to Highsmith. Highsmith, the big on the drive. Take it over again. He has another two pointer. That's four points in the game. Highsmith got it his first one take. If he, if he played it in calling for last postseason, but it happens to be in game seven, he finally makes that book get in there. But that is what he's been claiming for, accommodating to everybody he's accomplished it. But that was no other why he does it. It's not what he was really doing, but that's all you can make a change on. Hayward Highsmith has a lot of it to take in. But Jimmy Butler might be noticing that Hayward Highsmith is really trying to be professionalized. I don't think he's going to have another risk to hear on this growing opportunity, but that needs to be on a security key that he does. And Derek White goes downtown in the paint, up in the lead. Well, that's a great start. I always know that. That's 
they all do make you feel good. Time now called by Miami Heat. 526 still to go in the first quarter of the game as they will have to sign to tough it over. Now you can really what you know for. I was saying that that Hayward Highsmith, he's really like getting into a better trade-off. But that one is not what I was really expecting it for. Because recently in this game, really, after playing in game seven, this is what the college has happened. He was playing here at Wheeling Jesuit University and was the NCAA Division II player of the year as a senior. Well, the better way of this happens now, and you have to, have to believe in honor, you've got to get that one up here to a William University. And then this is what definitely happened now. First, he wasn't drafted. Then, he played it here in 2018 and 19, Delaware Blue Coast. Then in 2019, he played with the 76ers, but he went back to the G League. That's why he just had a little bit of a hard pressure to get right into it. He has no idea how this would happen. Because if he began playing as professional in the G League, that was during his 2018 and 19 season. He made his NBA debut with the Blue Coast parenting team, and then this is what definitely happened. Now, he's currently on Miami Heat. Let's hope if he gets more of it, just keep it alive without being underdrafted in the NBA G League. Well, I wonder what they all hope for. I mean, that's just how it's, he went I spent to get that one and a high line. Gotta give that one a bit of credit to them. Now the pass over again to Highsmith on the outside of it. He wants to make a new change. He will over to that man on the bio. Over King P and to make the drive in go in. He has his first bucket. And it's one from Hayward Highsmith. He has his first assist of the night. And he's through all that. With the pass again to Jake Kirsap was in this. Over for two. Open look makes it in. Back to back zone. It's a 10 to 9 game, under 5 minutes. And now he has it over to Virginia Jimmy Butler. Watch him cut. The give over to Bam on the bio, on the shot, and denied! Great denying shot for KP, that's his first block. And it's turned over by Drew Holiday. Watching in, here's a pass to White. And White will try to make it his way in. The step back in the range, fades the shot. For the two, no good. That's Bam on the bio with the rebound. That would have been almost making it in, but that didn't really make that an appearance to have that great opportunity. You need to make that one in there and that connection go by in. And Bam on the bio makes a shot that goes in there. Another two point bucket score for Miami Heat. Back to a one point lead. You know, we're switching back to back anyway. It may not be going that good anymore. Here's Tatum with a step up two. This is and Brown. Slamming. Here's Shooter Butler. Over again now to back on the bio. And a three with nobody else to go with. The triple no good. Drew Holiday has that ball. Now gives it again to Jason Tatum. Over to White. It's still up by Butler. And here we go. The give over to kicks up to Highsmith on a slam down. That one takes it in. Here we back up in the lead. Hero with the assist. Well, that's still and it's not really taking the exception. And this will be a little bit changing, a little bit aggressive. And all three. Jalen Brown for the three. This is the target from outside, and it's Hero with the rebound. Again, to Ben on the bike. Here's a take to Terry Rozier, looking for cutting. But we're now to kick off the Tyler Hero. Three minutes to go in a first quarter after Ben Butler over Brown. And he will make an hour in. That's his first bucket in the game. 15 to 12 score. Yeah, you got a feeling with that. That happened with the regular season. This is the, just great. You know, if all six athletes are really trying to answer me, you know, just playing it for a while, all occasionally, I have nothing to worry about. Because after that happens, that's what you need to know. It's not what they all need to keep on going in. They've got to, like, get going. The moment it is, it's the of bills, and then for half the shooter, he was out of here. And a three for Highsmith. That's another miss here. Miami trying to grab a rebound. The underdog team, and there's a foul. That goes to Rochina with the personal foul. And it's turned over to Celtics ball. Oh, can't do that anyway. That's a little too bad. over. That's a bad one. He's not happy with it. The dude changed off here. As right now, it's Derek Switch over here as Bridges on the court. And he is with on the outside with Al Horford. And for Miami Heat, he's got Jalen Hawkins Jr., Jimmy Hawkins Jr., we're correct with the name, with Duncan Robinson. 
Butler defending on Barham. And you saw over on Hawkins. Two points. Wow. We're going to step back to three. And it's off the rim and it goes back to Terry Rozier. Well, that play smart if you can. Butler! What a slam! That's what no one does that. Oh my goodness. Butler just silenced the crowd already. That was like, boom. Take that in there and go back the other way. Not my watch. And that was a fantastic slam dunk presented by ATT 5G Slam Kit. Timeout call by Boston Celtics with 141 to go. And we're nearing down the first quarter to the end. And as you all been looking for with the dedication he's been talking with us for the range of his interview, and he's been doing it for talking to one of the ESPN coordinators in the day. Because at that point, Jimmy Butler has become one of his better American players as that happened. And he's been called as the Butler playoff Jimmy, Jimmy Buckets, was they were calling him that man. He's defending with a six-time NBA All-Star and a five-time NBA All-Team on his honoring and a five-time NBA All-Defenseman 17. He has won his gold medal as a member of the 2016 USA Olympic team. And this is what happens now. They play very, very hard. They call him Jimmy Buckets. Hey, Jimmy Buckets, what do you got to know for? <laughs> That's what you always can never just say from Jimmy Buckets. He's been shooting crazy. And whenever he plays for hot hands, that's why he's early well life in the range. How are you make it can do watch that he does? First from Tyler JC and then Marquette. How can he play that game? That is nothing, man. I no honors on what can I say so? From a star to the current present team. From Chicago to Miami, that's what he was doing. I think he wants to get right into this. But let's see if he can manage it to play that United Center. That's my thing. Sam Ozzy checked in as our Nuggets now over. The pass over now to Ozzy again to Brown. Brown on the other side with the screen. Looks it over with a shot. That's another miss by the Boston Celtics. Robinson will miss first rebound of the game. He has it again to Hawkins Jr. Ball's almost inflicting. It goes back to Jimmy Butler. Another three. And that misses from the outside. Brown with the rebound, gets down to a woman. Brown going for it, and with the slam dunk down. <laughs> Trying to bring the back to a team to a lead, and here's another one team. And Robinson, the back behind, and gets to D-Long right. Butler in the corner for three. Another miss for Jimmy Butler. Here's a pressure now again to Brown. And he's right toward in the middle. Looking in for two for the lead. It's good. Jalen Brown with a number two point bucket score. And right back the arrow way. You know you can definitely know for Jalen Brown. That's what he has been taking it off for. They are not only what they expected, but they are not really what they were getting it for. They can't leave that marking again, but that is what the change off is. He was right with the shot. Bucket is missed, and so we see with the first sports goal foul. First team foul for Boston Celtics, about the 20 seconds. Well, let me know for D.L.R. Bryant, I had to do what they got for him. Taylor Senior just messed it up, but that is no one who concerns with him. They need to get this one through straight, and what they don't do, they have to just try to let someone else to defend him. D.L.R. Bryant at the free throw line, shooting two, this will be his first trip in game two against the Celtics. First shot for Elon Wright's good. And you know what we're talking about there. He is also noticing that Delon Wright has been going to play for one of his better teams on his own better for his all-conference players in the Pac-12 in 2014-15. First he played with CC of San Francisco of the Rams, and then he went to another trade-off college to play with Utah. You know, I always don't think of DeLon Wright. It's not my personal option, but that is no other choice of how this would be able to do. But playing it for every reason of his game is that simple. 
that has to be doing into a better job in certain circumstances. So they need to have that one but they'll never change it on that again. Balls lose and it's stolen by Butler. Back to Pritchard. As if Hauser, time could be down. Blocked by Wright. Jovic. The half court shot. That's off the backboard. It's up and ready for the second quarter. This is the game this is. It's a 19 game. What's up with Rocky Rock and stuff for Betty Moore? Betty Moore is for real. Second quarter is coming up right after the break. And if you're just tuning in for the second quarter, we've got your live action here back in Boston. Close game so far, Boston trailing one and 19 up ahead for Miami. They really need to be doing it what they got to do. Miami here is just trying to look for another upset. Maybe the first seed of team. No, the second seed of team, excuse me. But that one needs to be determine what Jimmy Butler's been getting through. They've got to get through it. Right. We start the second quarter as Ryan Richards with White, Al Horford, White Tour with Sam Hauser, and it's Jason Tatum. And it's, there, and it's Jason Tatum, White Tour in a slot. On the other side for Miami Heat, it's Josh Richardson with Jimmy Butler, and it's Jovic, White Tour in the center, Dan Hawkins Jr., and finally Duncan Robinson. New Stadium on August Jr. has been his right toward the quarter with 7.30 to go. Al uh, Woodford trying to get in there in the shot, but he made the layup try. Back down by one, trying to get a close attention on the gap. They don't have to believe on that. I don't know what's going to keep on going in, but that needs to get right to it. Here's Jovic. This day fade. Ready to get to Richardson and Hawkins Jr. for the three. Misses from the outside of his own. The foul's put up on Josh Richardson. That'll be his first personal foul. The first team foul for Miami. Jason Tatum at the free throw line, shooting two. Tatum makes the first free throw. New group substitutions are on the court as Hero Robinson Martin and Autobio is checked in. On the other side is Pritchard, Hauser, Tatum moving over to small forward as Porzingis is checked back in with Drew Holiday. He makes a second free throw. And here's Tyler Hero. He has him again to Richardson. The pass over to Autobio. Autobio gets it over again to Richardson. He cut it for the two. Takes it in. That's going to be his first bucket of the night. Richardson. Richardson with his second bucket of his appearances. With 6.45 to go in the second. Now here's White. He finds the pass to Tatum for three. Triple range no good. On the line with the rebound. I'll give it again to Kelly Martin. Again to on the Looks it over to Richardson. And then pass over to Martin. Martin. Give off to Richardson. With no help on the screen, here's Adebayo. The pass again to Martin. And in the middle. Trying to get the ball in there, and he ran out of bounds. That's a last touch by Tyler Hero. Turns over to the Celtics call. Uh oh, that must have changed things over. I mean, whoops. What do you expect? You got sweet. That's what nobody has to be going for. I mean, that's need to make a large change, isn't it? And now Terry Bershew is checked in forward and heat. And here's another take for Drew Holland. Here's what? Bradley turns the wing and now he finds Tatum over in the outside, covered by Martin. Right over to the White. Again, Tatum. For the three. Triple range, no good. Good, good make, chance to make the lead, but that one misses. Oh, the target must have happened so many other reasons. I don't know what's going to keep on coming down, but they need to get this one some more room. Anyone to get a three pointer would be over luck. Got to shoot it right over. KP, the layup drive makes it in. Now it rolls it again to Terry Rogier. He now has it over on the other side of the Now he will try to give it over again to Highsmith. In the middle to Anabayo. The shot, foul, puppy walk. Bam Anabayo with another bucket. And Kuzi with the foul. Well, that's what happened because of Highsmith, he was breaking a pass over the man on the bio. That was a good pass over. They're making it easier. Look at the chain. Look what happened. Third free throw coming up here, already made Miami Heat. We're just uh, under five for to go in a second. Yeah. 
cover stood up for the free throw. Now it's back to Aaron right now, Wilford. And he was three now. They will make a time on ball. We're nearing a five minute mark in the second. And we'll have some quick breaks to get right back to you soon. Well, Grandma Navarro had already been making a count to book his blood. Hopefully the Celtics might be keeping it in again. Let's keep the face up. That's what keep us in for Miami Heat and Boston. Same group. New line group substitution right now on the court. As we have Al Horford coming back on the court. As right now, as they're bringing it back right now, as we get this thing over again to Jason Tato. Looking for a rebound, takes it in. Back down by two, and here's an air win for Tyler Drew. Now he finds the pass over again to Roger Thurber. Roger Thurber finds the pass to Hero. Hero gives it over to Highsmith. Highsmith trying to watch out for the ball steal as Hero tries to grab it back. Here's the cut from Hero, takes it in. That's his first bucket for Tyler Hero. It's a 30 26 game. You know, it's never happening because Tyler Hero is definitely the man. Here's the team. Highsmith with the layup makes it in. That's eight points in his game for Highwood Highsmith. You know how percentage happens because of Highwood Highsmith? He's really taking all that speed in and then trying to lead that room out. That is what they are taking. I know this isn't really happening, but that is what they get. So, for Zingas, slams with one hand dunk down. Now it has to be a 32 28 game. Oh, just gotta believe it. Can't be here, dog. He just take over now, fighting to get a hero. Hero gets a bounce pass to Adebayo. Adebayo, Rogier to third for three, two, and he makes it in. That's another two-pointer bucket for Rogier to third, as Bam Adebayo with the assist. Bam's got two assists in the night, as now he's Wolford. Right again to Gary White. Over again to Wolford, the pass over to Tatum. Tatum with the screen, up it goes in, and misses the target that time. White in the corner, three-pointer, no good, and an arm take, and bam, sends it back. 3.32 to go. Oh, that's what no one saw that coming. Aaron Abayo must have had that rejection out there. You know, I wouldn't say it that way. I mean, just get that in front of him, you can. Jalen Brown's checked out, that's right now he's checking in, as Al Wolford's checked out. And Drew Holiday, oh, I'm pushing. And our miss here, here's the take. Bam out of bio with a great rebounding deflection. It's off again to Hayward Eisman. Going for 10. And he slams that ball down and down. It's a 36 28 game. You don't see what happens to Hayward Eisman. That's what they were really expecting to make that kind of game. It's just an unbelievable take. Big sure all day. He's right to the right rating. He's going in and he's fine. Terry Rozier III has a second personal and her second team foul for Miami. Real eight to go in a second quarter and a first half. This never happens because Drew Holiday wants to have that one, didn't he? You know, Jetsu is not just turning away to have to be. That's what Drew Holiday has to do. Get that in there and then try to go with the attack. No free throw coming up here for Drew Holiday. As right now, Boston Celtics are adding another free throw to this game. First free throw sets in for Drew Holland. Also known as the UCLA basketball for one of the seasons, as it's played for one of the selected to the Sixers in 2009, but his current soundtrack has changed, and this one was down to New Orleans Pelicans, soon was Milwaukee Bucks, and finally, Boston Celtics signed his contract to have a new recovery for the playing in this one, after Marcus Smart at the end of his contract. And that's going to do switch right now. We use another takeover. As here was here. And this one's back and over. As Hilly Senior gets it to White. Here comes Brown. Another jam in. And the drive doesn't hit all over. Alan Barry is back on the board. And Jalen Brown with another two point. Something shell by four. Rozier now trying to get to right as he's checked in on the court. Here's a game to Rozier again to Hayward Heisman. Heisman trying to have a over again to Martin. Martin 
with the draw. Nice D by Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown's really able to do it enough, but I don't know what's going to keep it on tracking, but that didn't really slow him down that much. Grim on the bottom now finds Hayward Iceman. For 12, that's good. Another bucket made for Hayward Iceman. And another assist puts in for Bam on a bio. Look at how Hayward Iceman is doing. He's really like on a streak. I just did not even notice that KP just made that slap it down already. That's unbelievable. Yeah, you know what happened? I always think of KP. He's really on a high slot. Gotta give that one a big chance. On a bio with the layup drive, and he makes it in. Now Bucket puts it in for the keys. It's a 40 30 war game. All day back there early. And now Wright tries again to let over, trying to win for a number two. The pass over to White. Bates. Rosingas. Spins around with a two. And he makes it in. Timeout ball by Miami Heat. They're in that under 90 second mark in the first half. It's a 40 to 36 game. We're nearing down the end of the first half, so we have a halftime show coming up. We have is David we have is one of our greatest look in between the Shag O'Neill, Cody Johnson, and Kenny Jet Smith. They are all coming up here for the halftime show as Miami Heat looking for a chance to tie this series up in the second game. And Boston Celtics trying to answer the attacking in the range of the under -defeat, undefeated zones as the underdog team are trying to climb into the spot. I never see what's going on like this, but this is what happens now. Miami Heat and Sixers are really like on a hard out of match. It's not really easy what they're doing, but that is what I need to know for about this is going to happen. and Hawkins Jr. checking in. And the Celtics on the other side, Porzingis, White, and Holiday are checked out. And Bridger and Holiday and Hauser are checked in. This is over to Duncan Robinson. The side set for the two. That's a very miss by Duncan Robinson. Oh, uh, Duncan Robinson having a little bit of discretion out there, but this is not too much what they expected. Drew Holiday makes a draw. And now back down by two. Under a minute left to go, there's an RT. Jimmy Butler over Jalen Brown. Butler misses again. Brown with another rebound. Another take over in. Trying to have a look. In between the zone. And Brown ties this game in 40 40. This is what hard back it is. They don't take a lot of credit. They don't do a lot much they can, but they can't let them get down the line. Hawkins shooting about fights again to the right. Trying to watch it in. Listen to Jovic. Jovic over to Elvin Sr. And he will have that back into right away as Holiday has the ball. And here's another one with the drive. Great D by Hawkins Jr. Jovic with his second rebound. Here's again Hawkins Jr. And ball's loose. Stolen by Drew Holiday. A chance for a bail buzz beater. Will he take it? And he misses. We are even out. 40-40 is the score. Sending it to the locker room to get ready for the halftime show. We'll be back soon after this. Guys, all yours. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jets. A tremendous game we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He had 12 points, 5 rebounds, and 1 steal. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? Love to see a team ride for those offensive They're doing the dirty work and converting those extra possessions to 
It's got to be demoralizing. And check your thoughts on the heat. Their unselfishness has kept them in the game. Just look at the assistant. The guys are making cuts. They move the ball free. You look to see the offense function like a real boy machine. That's what I like to say. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Time with one half gone, we got the second half beginning. Two more to go with the quarters. 40 and 40 is all even up. Calling for Jalen Brown, the biggest superstar, five factor player. You gotta get that credit. And uh, probably. Well, let's hope there is another change on the place. We start the second half as we are ready to bring things on the board. Turn it Pete. Man. Harry Rochier is with Tyler Hero. Bam on the mic is in the center. Ty Smith on the wooden board. And Jimmy Butler on small court. It is White. He's on Hero. Deflected the pass. Off on Tyler Hero. This will keep the Celtics ball locked. Lewis White with a chance, fade the shot. Over to Porzingis, mix it in. A great pass over for Derek White to fade that shot. And that was excellent to give the pass over to have that score. You know, cut and bounce is not always an easier option. That's what they always were doing. But you gotta let that come in. A bigger playable, at least again, they say, count. Hero now fights again to Rozier. And down the bottom of the shot clock with the pass over again to Butler. Butler, near the range. That's off again, and it's another miss by Miami. Drew Holiday with an hour rebound. And here's another take. And for another cut. Pressure on Terry Rozier to throw. Watching over, here's Tatum for three. Answers the call. That one is up and away. Up to a B by three. There's a range. Tatum knows his feelings. And he's going to go to D3. He answered back no good for Miami. They're losing their struggle. That speed is not turning what they're expecting to do. They can't let that happen. But all this is what they're taking. They have nowhere else to go. And he's to take over back to Adebayo. And Butler. In the corner right now, has nowhere else to make the room. Back to Rozier third. And Highsmith able to tie it. No good for three. Oh, they trying to pressure it back the airway. And in their range inbounds. The pass over to Porzingis. Porzingis watching in front. The drive. Misses it. Doing it again, and he ducks. Porzingis, with another two-pointer score, with his own rebound, and now extended five. Here comes Terry Rozier with the punt inbound. He's denied, and this one's fouled on Drew Holiday. Now we have our first personal foul for the Celtics with their first team foul. Shooting for Miami, Terry Rozier with third. Two shots. for Terry Rozier. Now Al Horford comes in for Chris Porzingis, as he will be checked out. And one shot coming up for Terry Rozier. You know, Terry Rozier is definitely the bird. He was really like all in patience right now. Whatever you do, you just have to just try to do it on your own. And without Kyle Lowry, that is supposed to be a, a great difference is this, to play in for in the team. I know it's a hard one, but let's make it clear for Terry Rozier and Bird game. I know. Already, but I can definitely tell you now, they're really like all in person. Here's your holiday, he's right toward away, and he now has it over in. Trying to give up the middle to Tito. Brown running outside, coming on Jimmy Butler. Alpha with the screen inside his zone, and another two. It's an end for Jalen Brown. 
He has 14 points. They're up ahead by five. Keep it going out there. They need to get this one through. Yeah, uh, Bio gets his own rebound. And he will get up for three. And this is missed again. Good rebound by Gary Rogio. Butler for the three. Able to have it in, but it's knocked out. A number missed by Miami. The Celtics are going to get a lot of defense on them. The pass over Ryan again to Hero. Bam on a decided to give a screen. The cut. Here's the take. On a bio, grabbing the rebound. Back to Ty Smith. Keeping the clock alive. Butler from the outside. Step back for the two. This time he gets a kick. Two to go. They're back down by three. Oh boy, Jimmy Butler's trying to get back into this. He doesn't want to get cold at that moment, but he, he's trying to find a way to get this. Derek might find the outside back to Jalen Brown. Brown, right toward in the zone, in the middle. The Terry misses. Great D by Terry Rozier. And here's on the right towards the Jimmy Butler. Four minutes to go, he finds it again over to Highsmith. Highsmith gives it over to Terry Rozier. The three for Butler. Six to triple. That just ties the game. It's a 49-49 game. Jimmy Butler. How does he able to make that three? I can't believe it. And here's Derek White. And a three for Brown. Up in the lead. This is now a breakout chain. It's a 52-49 game. Timeout called by Miami Heat with 3.38 to go in the third. We'd like to remind you that the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by American Express. Don't live by for God. Ruffles, English and Chip, on the NBA. Don't miss out the ever games in the Stanley Cup Conference Finals as we have the first game that's happening here for the Eastern Conference for Game 1 as the Hurricanes battle against the Toronto Maple Leafs. And then the next game will be happening here on the other side as we have the great matches in between the Canadian and the American team, both Eastern and Western Conference. And for the Stars, they face against the Vancouver Canucks. The first location will be happening here in Vancouver. And then the second location will be happening here in Dallas. On the other side, we have an across here. The Hurricanes will be playing first for Game 1 and 2. And then the Maple Leafs will be happening here for Game 3 and 4 on the other side in Toronto. Don't miss out those games that will be happening on, on each game at 8.30 and the air game at 9.30. Only on Sun and Beast. The pass over finding Richardson. Richardson in the drive. Oh, nice take in. That's Richardson with a step in drive. He has spurred bucket and disappearances. Outside right now, he's coming up by Josh Richardson. The screen by Al Hooper. Over to Al with a three. Triple in. That's another three pointer for the Celtics. They are up ahead. And here's another take. Here comes Butler for two. Oh, nice dunk in. That's Butler with another throw down. And he is trying to pull the crowd back. Never say never for Jimmy Butler. But if you're going to play against him, just be honest. He's on a hot edge now. He's a little bit cold, but don't lose your head. Jada for the three. And lower triple A. That's a triple lower decker to blow. Extension by five. Look at the crowd is reacting. That response is not going to take in. The three pointer for Butler. No hushing the crowd as Hofer with the rebound. Richard trying to hold it back. 2.13 left to go in the third. And he decided to give over to Al Worker and a drive, no good for the late. Hawkins Jr. with the rebound, now finding to get the Ubich. And Amara Butler in the move. Oh, what a nice cut. 
Chance, 13 points in the game. And it's Jovic with the assist. Miami trailing by three. Derek White for the wing. Passes off to Tillman Sr. Jovic defending him. And that misses the target. Great defensive effort for Nikola Jovic. And it's now again to Duncan Robinson. Trying to go for a cut and bound. Another take in. It's Robinson with his first bucket. And his field goal keeps on coming. Yeah, I know Duncan Robinson is doing it. This is what no one has responded. He didn't really expect it, what was going to happen with that. Here's the Tatum. Oh, and the drive puts it in. Here are making this one going back the other way. He has eight points in the night. Just checking the crowd in there. That Yogesh is trying to put it in on Tony Cena. But he's looking back the other way, and that's when he gave it over to Jason Tatum. That cutting kind of bat was a little bit unnecessary to have it in there. There's no way that they can try to defend it, but that is just unbelievable to take. Here's Josh Richardson. He makes it done. He decided to give over a turn after Jimmy Butler with the assist. Ooh, man. I know there's a lot of great throwdowns out there, but just listen to that. And here's Butler. He's on Jason Tatum. Tatum. Stepping down. The pass over to Butcher. Richardson on the cover. The screen puts it up. And he opens to try to put it up for Tillman Senior. The first bucket is no good. Trying to go for extension for taking the lead or stay even. He now finds it to Richardson. Richardson down to 20 seconds. And Butler ascended for a lead for two. It's good. Jimmy Butler with 15 points. Not able to answer at all for the three-pointer, but just a two. Yeah, it's just no way to get that Jimmy Butler on a hot streak. Getting that lockdown defense is just going to keep on coming back in. Three for Jimmy Butler. Nope, Jason Taylor. And he misses it and going for half court. Off the backboard. We got into the third quarter. It's a 61-60 game. Great even game, just like the first quarter. And we'll take a quick break when we come back. Right after these messages. And the moment now to reveal the state form assistant of the game. You know, I'm glad though. I mean, I have to say it for Jimmy Butler, but Jason Tatum is really trying to get into it. For Man on a Bio, that's what happens now. That makes it bucket and wide. This is what the appearance is. Terry Rozier, keep it up. Playing in this for real as Highsmith is really able to do it. That's what he does for. Just down to one quarter to go. And we are ready to get this thing underway to get off to our last quarter in possession. Last groups are on the board for Boston Celtics as Drew Holiday is with Jalen Brown. Curtis Porzingis in toward the center. And another one take over as you have Jason Tatum and Sam Hauser right for the other side. Nice bucket one for Jason Tata. The foul is on Terry Borgia with under eight minutes to start. Personal four. You never expect what happens. That also status was putting in for a second chance and a stance. That's what no one has ever seen him before. I mean, way to go for Big Tatum. You gotta believe it. And Tatum drops it in. And Rogier will take his time with her. He will now hand it over to Adebayo. Gives it over to Richardson. Richardson will try to try to slow it down. Now he will try to give over to Rogier to make another new play. The pass over to Jimmy Butler. Off and run again, and this heavy contest will not pick it up in. He misses our bucket, and his appearance is, and now he will try to give over to Taylor. Here's Taylor on the drive, takes it in! Spencer across there showing the crowd with some response. 21 points over Jimmy Butler, 15. And here's another one for Jimmy Butler for another take. Oh, Butler, how he's spicing it up in the second game. He trying to bring it back down by two. You know what, I have no regressions to There is no way I've ever seen any of those. They can't leave that pressure up. Three for Sam Houser, and he's got it! Right across the lane, and he has it. An extension back by five. No way to have an answer. He can't let the pressure in. Another take, Jimmy Butler. Give over to back to Richardson. And he has it to Robinson, and put a triple arm. In and out. That rolls it over again to Jason Tatum, and now he's got another rebound. Drew Holiday, trying to step back. 
Now he has it again to Brown. Brown, the screen for Jason Tatum. Watching for outside the three. Nobody up let him, and there's an air call for a great toy. He calls it a timeout. It's a 71-63 game. Well, you know, we never expect what's going to happen now. They think they can try to make a deep switch off the game. When the offense pick it up, they're not picking it up at the right target. This is why they call a defensive effort breakdown. Nobody is like trying to watch our game, and I know it's not turning out to be great, but they need to have another way to get this one down the street. Two substitutions are on the court as right now as Kelly Buckley is checked in. And on the other side, as my name is Butler, you'll be checking out. And checking back in will be Tyler Hero moving it over. Hero gives a pass to Anabaya. And here's Kelly Buckley. And the pass broken up by Tito. Tito with another steal and another bad defensive effort as Porzingis drops it in. They're up by 10. 16 points in the game, and now Wu Jin will have another take over to Duncan Robinson. Robinson trying to have it over again to Tyler Hero. Hero back to Duncan Robinson. Looks it over, now finding Terry Wu Jin. Wu Jin up, dropping it, no foul call on Drew Holland. Just 
that uh, all by my MVP. They'll have to chop it over with 245 to go. And they're going to change up. They need to try to have another takeover, and they need to find someone else to get right to it. And our chance right now for your New Balance player of the game. And this one will go to Jason Tate. Trying to enter another conference final, so this will be another takeover if he makes it all the way down and grabbing it in. Jenny Butler's back on the court, decided what he could do next. Backing over to Terry Rogier. Paid the shot, backing over to Butler. Again, to Rogier. He finds a pass to Bam Adebayo. And an offensive foul! That is to Bam Adebayo with 2.31 to call. And that's another Miami turnover. First oh team, boy, that is what no one is like in that. You know Bam on a bio? He bumped the elbow, and that's what that is. Murphy made a great signal. He made that one is, that's a great call for the offensive foul. Bougier on Drew Holiday. And here's Derek White with the fade. Up with the shot. Up oh, and off the rim. And he now finds it over to Bougier. Look the shot! Oh, nice take from Drew Holiday. And it rolls back the other way. Just think again. Drew Holiday? Man, he has been playing rocking shots everywhere. That's what nobody has ever seen. I mean, I guess they're spot in my life. Here's number two. Butler on the attack. Takes it in. That's a number two pointer. Timeout call by the Celtics. It's an 81 73 game. Looks like they wanted to try to give it up. Let's hope there is. Let's take over to you, Tyler. How's this game coming along? I know. I think this one is going to be great. I am expecting that Celtics fans are just going wild. Hi, the biggest effort is just turning up everything. So you're ready to tune in for the post-game show. That's going to be happening here next after the final buzz beer. After the final horn. And this one will be on its way to get right into the most game show. A show in it with comparison in. What a great defense for Porzingis, and I can't believe that they are just showing us. That's going to be happening here next other way, so don't miss that one out. Most game show coming up after this. All right, thank you so much. And this is what I've always been telling you now. Play it for real, the job done. Now what they call, they both have one timeout remaining with 1.50 to go. They wanted to try to see what they could do. And here's an RT. White, slipping it out. Inside his own. Very deep. I even get Bam on the bio. And here's Highsmith. Bringing a tan to a rumble showdown. Here's Rozier. Oh, he slams it. 81 to 75. You can definitely slam it just like Butler. I have no questions. How does Rajir Gautelay do them? That's just, wow. Play back, pay back. That's what it means to us. And what a play here, presented by 18T 5G Slam Cam. Holiday misses a three. And they're trying to roll it in now. Here's Rajir. He'll take over now, fighting Bam on a, a butler. And a, a hero up. He'll get it back. And the take will have it in. Tyler Hero trying to close the game out. 1.14 to go, and Boising is trying to get back to Holiday again to Brown. And here's the take. Butler on the cover, trying to watch the screen in play. Brown, step back, and good! Brown does it again! That's 19 points in a row. Looks like you're beating a beat. And Heisman with a deep three, able not this time. And he'll have to try to grab the intentional foul. And just as the second personal foul for Bam on a body. Second team foul. And he'll have to intentionally do it as Jamie Butler has his first personal. And now Drew Holiday will be at the free throw line as one foul is given off. Now the bonus chance for Boston for extension lead. You know what happens now because Bam on a body was trying to give over to Hayward. 
times, but I thought this would be a close game. But it didn't happen. And that's when it turns over. Cameron's a half for... Holiday makes a free throw in. That's what you need to know for. Point cards definitely happen to get through. And if we first set in for Drew Holiday. Now here's the take. Now he's over again, finding the back to Butler. Butler rolls over, falls deflected out of bounds, and it's off of Derek White as it went over right behind the backboard. And now they'll have the chance effort to get right into it with under 40 seconds. Bowler for the quarter three. It will drop it in. It's an 85 80 game. Now they will have to try to defend, defend it, and this will be another foul from Jimmy Bowler. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. At the line, Jalen Brown. Makes the first free throw. And misses the target. And it goes over to Rozier. Here comes Bam on the bio. Decided to give over to Butler. Makes the drive. They are back down by four. And a timeout call by Boston Celtics with under 30 seconds. We got under 30 seconds right now in the regulation period. We'll be right back after this. Settled in and ready to go. That will be on its way. Only one timeout for the Celtics are uh, out, and only one timeout left for Miami Heat. And here we go. We're ready to start things up. Let's see what they can do to try to keep on going. And it'll have the intentional foul called on Heisman, though the under three seconds left to remain. It's the first free throw. And he hits the second. This is their final timeout for Miami Heat with 22 seconds. It's an 88 twice 82 game. Boston Celtics up by six. second free throw. Time ticking down with 17.2 seconds. He now has it over. Butler. First deep three. Off 
the rim. Highsmith trying to give it over again to Butler for number three. Trips it in. It's now coming back to the money line, and you're going to need to try to figure these things out. This is the final foul called on Tyler Hero. So this will be all and everything. Well, it's definitely what they all expected now. I mean, that's what they were just shooting it for. They, they just really got to get somebody else to get through it. This is not what everybody's trying to do. They, they need to do something a little bit of like an extra step. Get through here, take it over it. Don't let anyone try to get over this. The free throw sets in for Drew Holiday. If he makes it in, it will be over. And he makes a second. Time ticking down for the team. Trying to give over to Butler. For the two. And it's over. An extension for Boston 92 over 88. They win their second game on extension 2 0. Well, it's a lucky luck moment. You don't say Butler. You don't say I'm fired. You don't say anybody else. That's why the Celtics don't get. Lucky enough to have the fans wild. It's a run. Just believe them. They do. And that's going to wrap it up, folks, with DJ Peace along with Clover and Boomer. This has been a presentation of the Eastern Conference Finals of 2K Sports. Along with Ali LaForce, David Aldrich, and with the crew, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again next time. Good night, everybody. All right, thank you so much. Boston Celtics on its way with a 2-0 series in our own game. And they will be taking a road trip to Miami in the southeast for the next couple games. That's going to be on the other side of it pretty soon. So once the Western Conference is finished, we're going to have you on the other side of it pretty soon. Here's how you do with the tall statistics. It was 53 field goals on the range, and it was definitely 32 three-pointers for Miami guy. And it was 93 free throws for Boston Celtics. They only had done 10 second chance points. With five steals, three blocks, and for the Boston Celtics, had team fouls for three with eight dunks, 12 biggest lead. Now, the other side happened to be fast break points for the Heat with 16 points in the pipe with 52. That was 17 bench points for Miami Heat with 36 to 6, and 26 defensive rebounds, and time possession was 16 29. And now, a chance now for a new balance. Player of the game. This will be underway shortly, but first, let's have the overtakes. All right, Wood Spoonie, you have it all. Get what you got. All right, thank you. As to start for number three spot, I got a great look at my feelings of all the other players have done their best. And this is what nobody has ever done it like that before, but that is what I can definitely call for. Jalen Brown, 22 points with 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal, 9 out of 17 field goal range, 1 3 pointer, and it was 2 dunks with 29 performance effort. He's been really looking pushing pace here, but I say Jalen Brown, JB for short, he's gotten it great. Now, the number 2 star has to get it over to Randy, crossing the other way with the great throwdown. This one goes to Jimmy Butler with 2. Three dunks performed with 33 performance. That's finished 27 points with three rebounds, three assists, two steals with 12 to 22 field goal range. Three out of nine three pointers are trying to get over this, but that wasn't even easy what he had to do. But that was what happened here. The Butler on the hot hands, not so hot. It's not so easy when you take. And for the biggest of the moment, that needs to be on the big up chain to get it done. Number one star that goes to New Balance player of the guy, Troy San Titan. 28 points with 8 rebounds and 3 assists with 1 steal and a block. That's going to be 11 out of 21 field goals. 3 out of 7 3 point range. And this is turned to be a 34 performance effort with 2 dots. That's excellent. Give the Tatum in the process if he does all. Say hello to one of the only legendary players. Give it all great credits to fights for Tatum. Best strike ever. And that's going to do it for us there, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you around here for the next part of the game. As you all have you on the other side for tomorrow night's game. As the Timberwolves face against the Mavericks at Target Center. That will be their first game happening here at 9.30 p.m. 
and that will be on the other side. Actually, 8.30 p.m., that will be only one game that's going to be happening here on the other side. So, you know, if you like to stick around for yourself, be sure to follow him on his social media. Everything's going to be on here. Links are in the, links are in the back page. So feel free to keep on an eye on a range, and this will be everything to keep your eyes on for. You'll have some more comment requests of this, this video, and reaction video will be underway there soon. Remember, the finals begins on June 20, June 25th, and on the other side of it, as we have, is the Stanley Cup Finals that's happening on July 3rd. That will be on the other side of it as soon as he gets this thing finished, and for a big, long day, until then, we'll be the next one to keep an eye on. In the meantime, thanks for joining us and see you all again for Night Sky. Peace out, folks. For a while, as the NBA Eastern Conference Finals dial on 2K Sports. This is Tyler and Wood Spinning. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you'd like to check out their playlist of the NBA postseason, it will be at the end of the video. See you next time. Bye bye, everybody. If you don't. Somebody will.